What's up guys, Ankles Penguin here, and today we are playing as Hecarim in the top lane. And we are going to be against a rather odd matchup today. It's looking like we're probably going to be against an AP Shaco top. And, you know, before anyone's like, how do you know it's AP Shaco? Let me tell you, because this is a very useful tool. If you guys don't know about it, lolnexus.com, you can look up the current game you're in, like while you're loading in. And if you're confused about what build someone's going to be going... You can just sit there, and you look it up, and you can highlight their runes, and it'll show you what rune page they're using, and it'll show you what mastery page they're using. So there you go. That's how I know I'm against an AP Shaco top. And that was what was going to decide for me whether I was going to use a Cloth Armor and 5 Health Potion start, or a Crystalline Flask start. Either way, I don't know why Sebastian said have fun top. I mean, I don't know anything about this at all. So we'll just have to find out on our own here. Anyways, going into this game, as I said... The matchup will very likely be the AP Shaco top. Uh, it's looking like there will be a Twisted Fate mid versus Sebastian's Cassidy, the Morgana Jinx bottom versus Leona and Graves, and then we got the Nautilus jungle and the Shen jungle on the other team. So, we'll see what we're doing. So, he'll put boxes in a triangle like this. All right. Alright, so the fear of one pushes you in the other. That is obnoxious as hell. Uh, I am pumped for this, actually. I am I am pumped for this. So, let's see how this works. Let's see how this triangle box of death goes down. Anyways, playing Hecker in top... I've only had one game's worth of experience doing this, so I do apologize if my Hecarim skills are not on point just yet. Um, we'll be doing our best. We will be doing our absolute best, and I totally fucking forgot again to uh, go start at a freaking jungle camp. Like, I did it without thinking about it, because I'm freaking commentating. And I was trying to think of what to say. So now Shaco's going to have a definite advantage over me here for a little while at least. Because he was able to just start boxes and do the camp, you know, for free. Because um, it doesn't really, like, cost him anything, you know. So let's just go ahead and get some Q autos off on him here. Get a potion ticking because I don't really need to uh, have my... Whatever it's called. My flask ticking yet, yeah, I'm not using any mana, so might as well just use the normal health potions. And let's run up here, queue those. So we've gotten 11 of the first 12, that's not bad. And we'll see here. So Shaco is at 8, and if he gets all 3 of these, he'll be right even with us. But, he does have the experience advantage from that, uh, from that jungle camp. So I think this, uh, this pink ward guy that Sebastian was talking about... Uh, we he, we won't let him get his idea done if he can't get out of the lane, right? So, that's going to be our mentality here. Let's just go ahead and CS and see what we can do. He doesn't seem to be super aggressive against us. Uh, so, we got that going for us. And let's go ahead and just keep up the unbridled fury. So, let's go ahead and just run up here, get that hit off on him. Uh, run over here, get another hit off on him. And how about another hit off on him? Look at this. So, lots of damage going off on this Shaco here. And even though I don't have Flash, uh, I'm definitely not going to try and dive him. That is that is a death wish. But let's go ahead and ward up real fast just so we don't have Shen coming up behind us. We are getting a lot of poke off here. Keeping him under the turret, making it harder for him to see us. And this is looking like it's going pretty well for us so far. So let's go ahead and just charge at him here. Get some good damage. There goes his Flash immediately I'm gonna go ahead and just push this out let's go see if we can just interrupt him a little bit just to be a little bit more obnoxious get our potion ticking and just you know make it so he has to stay Shaco no flash let's let the jungler know that just you know for the sake of letting him know and we'll go ahead and pop our W here drop the Q's and auto that one, auto this, oh no, oh god, I missed two in a row, rip me, dude, rip the dream, alright, come on, mm. got it, we're the best, as long as I get the siege, I have no problems, so I kind of want to dive him, but I don't know if it's really a great idea, 
Actually, it's a fucking great idea. Come here. Come here. That's going to be a kill for sure. And will I get out? I will be getting out. I decide, fuck it. Let's pick up the kill. And we just charge right into his face. He does not have teleport. He does not have anything behind us here set up. And that will be his uh, ignite going down. So easy kill there. Let's go ahead and run back here. Grab the full mercury treads. Because actually what you want to do on Hecarim is uh, rush home guard boots. At first I thought it was kind of odd. And then I was like, wait, that makes a lot of sense. Because when you're running the teleport ignite, you just teleport in and you burst the fuck out of someone. You destroy them. And it is nasty. It is just absolutely nasty. So Shen coming in, trying to duke it out with Sebastian. More like you're just interrupting his recall. It's looking like Sebastian... If Shen keeps this up, Sebastian's going to win the fight and he's going to get another kill. So it's looking like he made a bad choice and, well, just as we said, he's getting another kill. So let's go ahead and pop this box right there so we don't let him do this triangular formation that Sebastian was talking about. As long as I just don't let them get totally set up, I should be totally fine, right? So... Let's go ahead and just get a potion tick in here and run here. There was no box. Is there a box in here? There is not. So, back under the turret. AP Shaco should not have a very easy time. See, I under the turret. And he doesn't have any potions. So, any poke I get off on him is going to, like, annihilate him right now. So, we'll just keep going for more poke and keeping him under the tower. Let's go ahead and just drop the Q, drop an auto. Drop another Q and another auto. And look at that. So, all this damage coming out, we are at 47 CS, which is not perfect for this point in the game. It's not a bad amount to have at 7 minutes, but it definitely could be a little higher. Go ahead and get more Qs off here. Uh, my flask is still ticking me back up, because I did choose to use all three at once for some reason. I think I just really rapidly clicked it a lot on accident. Um, and that was, well, a few more than I wanted. But that's okay. That is A-OK. -okay. So... Let's see, 52, 231. It's looking like Shaco may have backed again. But now, let's see, I have my home guards on my next back. I have my teleport up. This is an opportunity for a gank. I'm feeling it. So hold on, let's go ahead and just clear this wave again. Um, and then I'll go ahead and go back on that note and see what we can get there. So, Shaco, what are you doing? What, what are you doing? So let's see. What did he get on that back? He just got some fairy charms and potions. Alright, so it looks like Leona died. I guess she tried to dive, maybe? I don't know. She tried to do something, and it clearly did not work out in their favor. So we have the home guards, and now, like, that could potentially be a free kill if I just went in on it. Are they going to go in on that snare? No, they're not. Maybe? God... I'm so tempted to do it, but I'm not going to use my teleport this time. For now, let's just charge back to lane. <laughs> just show him that we can square off against this Shaco. Sitting in base like that, waiting for a potential home guard teleport in down here, was honestly a waste of time, but it's not going to you know, make or break anything here. So let's go ahead and just walk up here and start queuing the rest of this wave real fast. Because I don't want him to have a chance to get too many boxes up on me. If, in fact, this guy is using this or the strategy that Sebastian was talking about. So I don't know why he hasn't... Uh... See, that? there it is. I was going to say, that one's obviously the real one. And that one was obvious for us. Because fuck you, that's why, bitch! Come here, bitch! Uh! Get out of here with that Shen Ultimate! But, <clears throat> anyways. As I was saying, that one was pretty obvious. Due to the simple fact that he had a potion ticking when he tried to deceive, so it just kept showing the potion animation. If we just looked at him, one of them was glowing green, and the other one was not. So that wasn't, you know, a particularly tough choice to make. Um, so that was, that was how I was able to figure that one out so easily. It looks like Nautilus just chilling in the back here, and this could be a very easy dive. He doesn't even need to flash. He could just run out and hit his ultimate and get a kill but it's looking like he's just gonna wait it out for now and let's see can i fuck 
I don't have anything available again. Everyone is too pushed. But hopefully, if they can let this wave push, I can teleport somewhere here. Keep that warded. If they can keep that bush warded, I can come in there the second I see an opening um, and just crush them. Or I can just stay top for now and keep annihilating Shaco. Um, because chances are he's just gonna sit there and try and put boxes and bushes and shit to try and kill me that way. But, uh, it's, it's only gonna work so much. Because as soon as he does that, I can just walk out here and start regenerating in the wave. Um, you know, with, <laughs> with my potion sticky and everything. So it's not really gonna destroy me yet. So let's go ahead and get some damage. He's probably going for, uh, okay, well, I was assuming he was going to try and, you know, get a gank there or something, but he didn't, so, <laughs> his ultimate's down, no big deal, and let's see this, we got 2-0-0 oh, oh with 81 CS, Sebastian actually doing a fantastic job on that Cassidy in mid, 2-0-0 oh, oh, with 87 CS, out CSing us, what a god, so let's go ahead and just get a little damage off there, yowza. Get our flask ticking. Let's just get all three ticks of it going because it is basically free after you buy the flask. There's no reason to, like, save ticks of it or anything. There's actually no reason whatsoever to save ticks. Um, because they all just get refilled back when you go back to base anyways. So, whenever you have a flask, make sure you use all of it. Um, there's, like I keep saying, literally no reason not to. So we'll go ahead and just run up here, get another Q off on him, and that will be some good damage again. So I can afford my phase right now, which I think I'm just going to go back and grab. Because uh, if I can get that, and I can also get a potential gank off on bottom, or just come back and crush Shaco, that's pretty huge. So it looks like Twisted Fate Ultimate coming out. Don't know where he's going. Um, TF? <laughs> TF, you going somewhere, buddy? It looks like he was just coming back mid. Alright. Um, okay. Well, I still haven't found a good time to make use of my home guards uh, as far as ganking goes. So, maybe I'm just being too... Maybe I'm thinking too conventionally with my teleport. Is that... That could be a problem. That could be the case. Because I know that essentially when you have Hecarim with teleport and home guards... It damn near becomes an offensive summoner spell, not just like this summoner spell that you use to get around the map, like, you use it to crush people. Let's go ahead and teleport right here, and let's see if we can get this bitch, come here, and that's gonna be BOOSH! Big damage coming off on Jinx, that will be the fucking onslaught of shadows picking up the co or the shutdown. And let's see, Shen will not be saving the day yet, and that will be a successful teleport finally and I don't see Shaco anywhere so oh there he is finally showing his face up top but that's not really gonna matter let's go ahead and just charge at this guy smash him into the wall right there the tower is on me no big deal will be a kill coming out for the Hecarim we'll just back off of this 4-0 and 0 for this Hecarim sadly Disciple did have to die uh, I mean he didn't have to die but he did die so I mean I'm sorry I'm sorry it's okay, Disciple. We'll get your tower for you. So one more Q. Boop. Get both of those minions. Get the turret. And now I can just go back. Home guard back up top. And nothing will be lost. So let's see. As long as they don't interrupt me. Yep. And now we'll grab our sheen. So yeah, he's definitely not even going to be able to put a real dent in my tower. He'll maybe get like a couple hundred HP off of it. But other than that... It, that that was so worth. I got two towers, or not two towers, two kills. I got a tower. Let's see. Let's just go ahead and rail on this one. Because this one right here is the real one. I'm fighting way too much in the minion wave, though. Because that was uh, kind of shitting on me. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just charge away. Because I know that if I tank a shot right now, that's not going to be pretty. Um, so let's see. Where are you at? Where are you at? Oh... They got the dragon. Alright. Well, I guess they're going to get that dragon. So let's see. Let's see. Do you want to do this, Shako? Yo, Shako! Are you trying to scrap, Ombre? So let's see. If he deceives towards us, hi. Scoop! Boink! 
So that'll be a bunch of damage going off on him. Now let's just see if we can chase after this here. I don't want to go into these bushes, because I know if I go into this one, it potentially has... Yep. Hiya! I fucking missed! He's a god! Okay. <laughs> Shit. Get the heal! Get the heal! The heal! Come on! Yes! Yes! Woo! The clutch heal's coming out! Shaco did dodge our deceive, but we had quick thinking right there, and we went straight into the minion wave with our W up to get the heal out of that, and also get a level up at the end of it as well. Ooh, uh, uh, tower, please. Okay. So, damn, the outplays on this Shaco here. Even though he dodged my ultimate very craftily, that was really nice on him. Uh, we did end up with the bigger outplay there on what he thought was going to be a kill with the ignite ticking on me but we were like oh hell no so we showed him a thing or two there and now we can get our full trinity force which is a huge damage spike and now we go straight tank now i know it sounds maybe a little odd but after you get your trinity force on hecarim you go full tank absolutely full 100 percent tank because Hecarim does a ridiculous amount of damage without tank items. Or without damage items, I mean. So, I mean, maybe if you really want, you could get something along the lines of a Yomu's even. Uh, just for fun. But, once you go Spirit Visage and... Uh, what's it called? The Frozen Heart. You can actually... Well, not you can actually. You actually do have 40% CDR if you're running the same setup I am. Which I am actually running 5% um, CDR in my Glyphs and the 5% CDR Mastery. So I'm running both of those. It looks like Shaco is probably around mid right now trying to duke it out with them. He will be picking up a kill actually. So I don't have my teleport otherwise I would come help. It looks like they got the turret. Super Mega Death Rocket coming out. Not going to do much. Let's see if we can just smash our face into this building. And do some damage to it. It's looking like the minion wave will... N oh, it did get there in time. Nice, it did get there in time. So this wave, or this tower, I mean, will also be going down for us. And let's see. Jinx got a turret of ours. But I'll pick one up of theirs. So, boop. Two turrets going down there for us. And one turret going down for them. So we came out very heavily on top of that trade. Uh, and actually, I'm going to go grab my Kindle Gym real fast, because I want that CDR. And I want the increased health, so that'll help a lot. Uh, and let's just see here. Since I have Teleport, I can just stay top and keep split pushing. Uh, I don't think any of them can actually duel me right now. I'm pretty disgustingly strong. Um, and I'm choosing to go for the Spirit Visage first, because it's AP Shaco, Twisted Fate, Morgana, and Shen. So the only person that's really doing a lot of physical damage is their Jinx. And she's, I mean, she's 3-in-1, but it's only one person doing the physical damage. So it's not like I truthfully need to worry that much about it. Especially when everyone on their team is just about that scared of me. Because <laughs> as you guys just saw, I went flying towards that Shaco with my E Super Pony mode up. And he just, he dipped instantly. He was like, oh, hell no, I'm not doing this. <laughs> I am not doing this. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So let's go ahead and just super pony mode over here. More boxes, man. Come on. All right. Hello. Boink. Boink. Oh, he smited it. Cheater. All right. Well, I was going to duke it out with him. Let's go ahead and see. Can we still duke it out with him? Come on. Fight me. Fight me. Drop the ignite. Drop the Q. Keep fighting me. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know exactly what Shen was thinking there, but I think he thought he could fight me. <laughs> Well, does he know? You can't fight the pony, man. You can't you can't just fight the pony. I'm so out of position here. Like, I am begging to be... Mer oh my goodness, he is low. But I can't do anything with it right now. I am not healthy enough. So let's see. They're blue. I have no idea when it'll be up. I'm going to drop my trinket ward over here, though, still. Because that can definitely spot something out. Like, if Shen comes over here to try and take his blue or something, I can just fly in there at the speed of sound, like, and just jack it. 
Let's see, where's the Rift Scuttler? There you are, Scuds. Let's go ahead and take you real fast. Looks like the Scuttler Crab... Scuttle Crab? The Scuttler. The Scuttle Crab has not been taken too many times this game. Just uh, making that judgment based off of the amount of HP it had. Because obviously that did not take me long to kill it all. So let's go ahead and just surprise Shaco here a little bit. Look at that damage. Alright, so let's see. It's probably that one. And yeah, I was right. So let's go ahead and just see here. Uh, oh, hello. Hello. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yo, his clone totally deceived me. Do you guys get it deceived? Because of some of his ability? Damn. That was actually really tricky. His clone reverted back to his location when I wasn't paying attention. And he fucking, like, juked me with it just about. Like, that would have been such a great outplay on his part if uh, if I had never killed him. I just killed the clone. I was like, wait, what? But let's see if I can get in here. I got my teleport up. I have the home guards. It's looking like, oh, here I come, here I come. Get this. Come on. Cloth. Come on. I just... All right, here I come. Here I come. Chazza! Cha -cha! That's gonna be a dead ass jinx. And come here, boys. Come on, fight me. Fight me. Fight me. All right, there's gonna be another kill coming out. Let's see. I am thirsty for more. Go ahead and dodge that. Hello, Shaco. Let's keep up the fighting. We do have the teammates coming in. Drop the eats. Just donger them to death and bop. Keep bopping. Come on. Oh, the collateral damage. We'll take it. And come here. Come on. I ain't through with you. I ain't through with you. My little pony never gives up. Dash around on the outside. Smash him into this wall. What the fuck? That's not the direction you were supposed to go. Come back here. Come back here. Are you going to try and taunt me under? Wow. Go ahead and get out of there. And... Escape perfectly safe. So Super Mega Death Rock coming out will not find me. And let's see if I can get this thing. Do you think I can? D ah, there's no way. There is no way that my Spirit of Dread will hold us alive long enough. But you know, I'd say overall that was pretty good. <laughs> I'd say that went pretty well for us. So let's go ahead and look here. Not that. Not that. This thing. There we go. And then we can get the Glacial Shroud for more CDR, and we can get another Cloth Armor. So now we have 2,600 health with 126 armor and 141 uh, magic resistance. So we are rather resilient, and as you guys can see, my damage is no joke. The amount of bursts I laid down onto Jinx when that last fight started was clue enough, I believe. So come here, Jinx! Woo! Look at that damage! There goes her flash immediately. Come on, drop in the queue. And I'm just gonna walk out of here and... So it looks like Nautilus picking up the kill on the clone. And let's see. Oh, I've been spotted. ruh -oh, Trouble! So let's see. Is anything else up? Can I do anything? It's not looking like it, but as you guys saw smacking the jinx with my face there took out just about half of her hp so again boys my damage is not a joke right now i am very very strong granted i'm 9 0 and 1 uh so that's kind of to be expected and so i have this little thing right there that's slightly following me um obvi i mean it's slightly following me so there we go let's go ahead and just oh hey shen Oh, ooh. Well, you tried with that Zenith Blade. So maybe we can get this Gromp real fast. That'll be nice. Let's drop the W here and boop. Go ahead and pick that up. Nom! Pick that up. No problem. Oh, here I come. Here I come. Maybe. I'm chilling off in the wings. Chilling off in the wings. They don't see me. They don't see me. All right. All right. There's Twisted Fate. Man, this is too edgy for me. I think I'm just going to go back right now. If I had more HP or my summoners, I would be so fucking down to rail those kids. But I didn't. And this right here, the speed buff, is why the teleport with the home guards on Hecarim is such a good rush. As you guys just saw, I have no AD items except my uh, Trinity Force, of course. And I was up to 370 AD just from running fast. 
So let's see here. That ward going to go bye bye. And. Chazam! Go ahead and just do a ton of damage right there. And I guess I'll just get stunned up by this. So lots of damage coming out on this guy. Drop the thoughts on the shadows and boosh! Shen trying to save the day will not have it. And it looks like the depth charge will knock up Morgana. There's the kill. And they cannot say no to the pony wreckage train. So, ooh, Solar Flare coming out and it's looking like Shaco could be in a finicky situation himself. Oh, we got him! And it's looking like... Uh, oh, the flash from Graves! And Disciple with the double kill on that Graves. So let's see, the minion wave coming in. We don't got nothing to worry about. Let's go ahead and get our flash ticking, because, you know, free healing, right? Free healing. So let's go ahead and just eat or cue the rest of that wave. It's like Nautilus wanted to go top. He just wanted the farm, I think. And god damn it. <laughs> AG. Messaging me. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's see. Can I afford my thing? I definitely can. Fuck! Alright, whatever. I'm out. Peace. Uh, the Mercury Treads OP. So let's go ahead and take this bot turret too. Because with the wave that we have accumulated, there's pretty much nothing they can say about us taking this one as well. Uh, so we might as well just jack it while it's hot. Great. So that's definitely not the real one, I don't think. No, it totally was. I just didn't think it was the real one because my uh, my W didn't make it attack me. So, oh, do you want to do this, Twisted Fate? Do you want to do this? Alright, that's what I thought. That's what I thought! Heck off me, little boy! Alright, so the taunt coming out. Let's see it. Let's see it. Come here! Come here, Twisted Fate! Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, let's... Woo! I'm out! So, I don't really want to... You know, get hit up by that, uh, <laughs> that soul shackles coming in there. So maybe I'm flirting with death a little much right now by, um, messing with that. But the, sh or the Shen, fail, flash in. Let's see. Can I teleport? All right, here goes the teleport on this. And here I come in. Hello, Jinx! Boosh! Look at the damage! That's gonna be a double kill coming out. Well, not an actual double kill, but two kills coming out. Come here, dropping that ignite, and come on. Drop the E, the flash, and the hook. Boom! That will be the actual double kill. The triple kill! Coming out for Hecarim here. Making use of that home guard. Re-engage with my damages and speed. And this is, this is just raunchy. So, now we are at 1,300 gold again already with 40% CDR now. So that is pretty huge up there. Um, looks like we want to do Baron, I guess, real fast. I'm not too opposed to the idea. So, we should be fine to do it without Sebastian. The other four of us should have more than enough damage to do it. Um, as long, yeah, as long as he's here to smite it, it should be pretty secure. The only thing that can truthfully steal it uh, at this current second would be a Jinx Rocket. And, I mean, it, it's it's possible. I've seen it happen. I've done it myself a few times. Um, but it's it's unlikely. So I'm going to charge up here and get this wave up top real quick. Just because it's accumulating very rapidly. And I would like all of this income. No, I didn't get the siege. Rip. Alright, that's fine. Anyways, got, eh, got a majority of the minions. It's looking like they did pick up a kill onto the Shaco as well. So, you heard it here, by the way, first, folks. AP Shaco is not exactly a counter to the top lane Hecarim. So let's see, what do we want now? It looks like they're still doing a lot of magic damage, and I need some HP. So instead of getting anything else, let's just get a War Mogs. That sounds like a good idea, right? Right. So let's see, can I have this red... How, how well is Disciple doing? He's 8, 5, and 8. I'm not going to take that from him. If he was totally being like a super feeder noob, I was going to take it from him hands down. Because I can just stick on people and annihilate them with, you know, without a question. But, wait, maybe I can get... Oh, that's so much more expensive. Maybe it would be worth it, though. Um, just because for the, like, super slow that it would give me. I could try that. I might as well give it a shot. What's the worst that could happen right now? Skirt! So, little things to remember about Hecarim. Uh, especially when you're in those really quick, intense situations... Um, big things. Really try and make use of his, um, his home guard speed. Hold on. Hiya! 
Okay, so that's warded. <laughs> All right, stun card. That's not really doing much to me. But, anyways, try and make use of his home guard and his E speed in general, because uh, did he actually just ult for that? He actually just ulted for that. All right. Well, <laughs> TF just ulted to get blue. He just ulted for blue. What? All right, whatever. So I've tried to say it a billion times now, that just kind of baffled me. Use your Q while you have your E up. It does not interrupt it, it does not slow you down, it doesn't do anything other than make your Q do more damage. Um, because whenever you Q while you have your E up, you have the additional damage from your movement speed bonus, so it makes your Rampage just do so much more. Uh, and let's see here, we are getting very close to our Frozen Heart. I'm only about 280 gold away now. The Gromp is not here. I am mildly disappointed. The Solar Flare will whiff. Collateral damage. And... <sighs> Collateral damage. And the Death Charge will come up. It's looking like that will be maybe... Oh, I was really hoping I could just dash. Hey, come here, Shaco! Boosh! Smashing my face into him ever so tenderly. And let's see, so that is four of them down, but Sebastian is now a feeder noob, so he will be going down as well. 14 and 0 so far, and will this be the end of the game? I'm not sure. If it is, then GG. If it's not, then I do have enough money to afford my, uh, my frozen mallet. So it's looking like <laughs> Leona was tanking the turret, will be going down there. And it's looking like, all right, can I do it? Can he do it, ladies and gentlemen? All right, well, I guess I'll just tank that. It's looking like, all right, come here. You know what? Fuck you, Jinx. Frick you. Uh oh, no, 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 the KDA! No. <laughs> the KDA. <laughs> I'm actually sad. All right. Well, you know what? You know what they say? When life gives you lemons, you have to fuck life in the ass. These guys just gave me lemons, and they are going to get de fucking destroyed for ruining my perfect KDA. But it looks like Sebastian just going on a rampage here. He, he is getting vengeance for me. It's looking like the Riftlot back in. Solar Flare will land. Triple kill coming out. Will it be a quad? Boosh! The quadra kill! Sebastian, where is this Shaco? I, I really want to know where he is for you. But I don't know what to buy, so I'm just going to... All right. Oh, wait! Wait! Come on, that's not the real one. Sebastian, no! Sebastian! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So close. No, they surrendered! My frozen heart will never get to be complete! Alright, come on. Okay. No! Where are you going, Pony? I was almost in the ending shot. But, almost so close to a perfect game on the Hecarim top. <laughs> and I gotta say, that shit is strong. Holy fuck. 100%, I recommend you guys to ban this in Ranked. Uh, w w without a doubt, ban this shit in Ranked. Hecarim is so strong right now. Hecarim and Sejuani. Definitely the biggest bands I would go for. Damn, Sebastian did damage that game. Holy shit, he got to that late game Cassidy. Very, very well done on his part. So, all and all, ladies and gentlemen, that was a very great game. Very fun. Had a lot of uh, great plays, great fun times. And... Here are the ending builds, and if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like it a favorite, it helps me out. If you want to, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, my second channel, for the links will be in the description below. And as always, I love you guys, it'll be a wonderful day. Peace!